Okay. I think I'm live. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys can hear me well. Um, I'm still getting ready. Okay. Right. Hi. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm not sure if everyone can hear me. Okay. It says there's two viewers, but I'm not sure if you guys can hear. If you can, just give me a thumbs up or something. All right. I'm just gonna uh, say hello. Just gonna use this. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello, hi, hi. <laughs> Good to see you. Yes, so today I am doing this in a different format. Um, as you can see, my stream looks kind of different um, because I think this is what I used to do. So for people who have seen me um, do this since, uh, you know, those days, <laughs> uh, when I was doing this, uh, when I started 2021, Right, I think I started with StreamYard. I don't know, Stream Streamlabs. I'm I'm actually using Stream Labs right now. Um and and you don't know, which is why you see all these like overlays and then the chat, you know, so there's this chat box over here, and then I could see like the number of viewers over here, and then there's like um the coffee. Um I think it's like a kind of donation button thingy. But I don't know, I don't know if that works. <laughs> And then um, if, if someone subscribe or if there's a, 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 some like um, uh, people coming in and, and, and um, giving me a, like, if a donation or s something, there would be a little like blink, you know, like you see those stuff doing like things happening, okay? So I'm not sure if I can test widgets. Uh, okay, I can't. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, like I'm so glad that you are here, Elijah. Um, and today I am going to paint, start painting. Um, hi, howdy, Greg. Well, how do you like this new stream? I hope I, I sound okay. Um, you can see the, the text, you know, now you can see the chat box over here, but I'm not sure if the chat box is a little bit too small. <laughs> is it too small for you guys? Howdy, howdy. <laughs> Um, let me know if there's any issue. Okay. Like sound, because it has been a while since I use stream labs. Um, I used to use this because I wanted to stream to two places. I wanted to stream to Twitch and YouTube. So I think um, they, at that time, they, they had a technology, like you got to pay and they would like, um, you know, allow you to multi-stream. Um, and then I think what happened was, oh, it's a little quiet, but I can read the chat box. It's just fine. Good. That's nice. Okay. Like it's semi-transparent. Yeah, I, I made it so oh it's, a, it's soft is it soft hello okay i could actually adjust okay just give me a moment let me just kind of like is it okay okay <laughs> like this is it too much yeah so i could actually adjust the the sound um the hey <laughs> i could actually so there's a lot of i can do tons of stuff with this um because stream labs is actually I, I think it's kind of a, um, you know, if you talk about streaming, it's probably the, the one to go to. <laughs> okay, okay, great, great, great. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, so that's good. So I used to do that. And then um, what happened was, I think I was not, so now I'm on Ethernet, right? Wired Ethernet. Um, I'm, I lo like previously, I was actually just on uh, Wi-Fi. And then when I'm on Wi-Fi, um, I get like tons of lagging issues and buffering issues. 
and I like my video would just stop like for no reason and it was like so difficult like I couldn't do anything and people were like not satisfied with it at all so I thought yeah like it's time um, I know I, I know I've been using like Riverside uh, which was kind of an improvement from StreamYard um, but it's still not 180p so I hope this is 180p I don't know do you feel like the image is like sharper I hope it is sharper. Like it's supposed, I'm supposed to actually stream this at 180, 180p, 1080p. Sorry, <laughs> one zero eight zero. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so today I am gonna paint a flower, and it's gonna be the echinacea. <laughs> Finally, I pronounced it right. Um, and I would just like to quickly like kind of update what's going on with the postcards. So, okay, hold on. Just let me <laughs> open this up. I, it, you know, you have to pardon me, it take me a while to get into um, the share screen because now I am not exactly using, uh, <laughs> okay, I'm not exactly using uh, StreamYard. I think StreamYard is easy in a sense. Um, yeah, okay, I, I'm just going to quickly show. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if you can see this, but here are the people who have uh, submitted or who have uh, who's taking part, who has taken part or home in our uh, postcard giveaway, not giveaway, postcard exchange, really, sorry, um, postcard exchange. And so far, I have received um, so many, all right? I have received most of them except one person. So I'm still waiting for a postcard from one person. Um, so you see DRGS Pro is here, Siok Art, Tu Huan, Greg, Greg! <laughs> Greg sent me two postcards, so I it's one postcard for me. Yeah, I know, he is probably the, you're probably the main character, huh? And then Ari, uh, Regina, so Regina is from, uh, is from Instagram, right? She is like so enthusiastic. <laughs> so I was kind of like talking about it in, on Instagram, and I said, oh yeah, we have this thing going on, and she went, okay, I'm just gonna take part, and, and she just sent it to me, and she's so good, um, yeah, you, I, I don't know who's gonna get her, her postcard, but her postcard is really good, um, and then we have Tricket Set, right, she is also on Instagram, um, and the rest are, you know who, right, Nancy Seneyar and Repsophie, and block user is taken, so I'm gonna send this out, um, I mean, I would argue it's, uh, <laughs> I would say it is um, uh, random. I'm not sure if it's exactly random, but I'll try my best, okay? Um, and then I'll send it out. So it will come together with, you know, remember the stickers that we made, like I made for everyone. So I will send it out with the sticker. Um, and also like, remember we did like a kind of a giveaway. So hey, howdy! <laughs> Sophie is so cute. She went howdy as well. Hello, Rap Sophie. Is this nostalgic or not? <laughs> I hope it feels nostalgic to you. Um, like for people who have actually. Oh, hold on. Did I already share the screen? Oops. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna just kind of hide this one. Like sometimes I just forget, you know. I I'm just gonna hide this one now. <laughs> It just like went into my like stream live streaming um uh, page, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so I think um this was what we have. Um, it's kind of a little nostalgic, I think, because um uh, this was what we had. Uh, uh, what happens when I press the red button? What in the at the top? <laughs> end stream? No, you do not want to end stream, do you? <laughs> Howdy, howdy. So, yeah, so I think for people who have actually seen this one, um, you would have like, um, uh, you, you, people who have followed me since the, the beginning of my stream, uh, when I started streaming, would be very familiar with this format because this was what I stream. I used to stream like, yeah. So, right, so let's start today, okay? So, you already a little, um, <laughs> a little, uh, um, what's that word? Uh, introduction to the new stream. Uh, platform um, and I hope you guys like this one like if you have any like uh, what do you call that criticism like any points to improve uh, do let me know okay because yeah because I'm streaming I rarely go back and look at my stream so I would I won't be sure if it's like good or bad you know so just let me know if like it's not doing well in any aspect so that I can improve it okay 
So today I am uh, going to paint a flower. So how's everyone like like paint searching going along? Like, are you able to get a paint that you, uh, the the palette? Like, are you able to get the colors? Hey, how are you? <laughs> People ask, wow, you have Twitch now. Actually, I used to have Twitch. I oh, you can give me money. Ah! Okay, well, um, actually, I I actually have a I I'm a. I'm actually like a, I'm not a partner. Am I a partner? No, I'm not a partner. You know that what's that tier like just um after like below partner? I think affiliate or something. I think I'm an affiliate, but I haven't been doing like Twitch streaming because I don't have um multi stream. Um, for to to in order to multi stream, um, you need to kind of pay for the services. So I used to multi stream. So I I think before twenty twenty three. I used to multi stream and I stream to uh, Twitch and YouTube, um, but because it's it, I have to pay for it and I don't know like and then I got right really bad like the stream service was pretty bad, so in the end I was like mm, let's just like I gave up after that so I went to Streamyard yeah, but yo yo, <laughs> I would love your money, <laughs> give me the money, can I can I do the, uh. Where is that? Like the where's the money emote? I'm looking for the money. Okay, never mind. Could I just like look for it? Like money, maybe I can find anything. What? There's no money. Let's look for it. Oh, there you go. Okay, it's this face here. Get me the money. Hey hey. <laughs> ah ha ha. Yo yo. Oh hello Ari. Hello hello hello. <laughs> Ari wanted to see manganese blue novas. Oh, no 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 manganese blue. So I'll sh I'll sh I'll show manganese blue, blue blue in a while. Um, as I was saying, oh yeah, Rapsophie's saying that she is listening to the stream in bed. Ah okay, no problem. Can listen. And I think I I don't know like do you do you prefer it this way because you know like I think it's nice because you get like the chat over here right. People can see what's. Like what's going on, you know. You don't even have to like go to another place to look at this. You know what I mean. So I think it's really a very nice thing to have. <laughs> Ali, C U M Y Ang Pao. Yeah, I can can. <laughs> People does <dust up>. the <laughs> too bad, you know. Like oh, you don't have Twitch. Oh well, okay. Oh, what do I get a bigger cut from? Coffee or super chat? I think I get a bigger cut on coffee. Probably not on super chat. Like super chat is gonna take like maybe uh thirty percent or something. Like they will take like quite a lot. Like YouTube's gonna take like tons of money from there. I know, right? <laughs> money flying away. Ari says, yeah, it is. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah. So I don't think I'll be able to multi stream because it's costly. I'm not sure how much ultra will cost. Um, but yeah, no, I don't think I'll do that any soon. So anyway, Ari, Ari, what's Ang Pao? Oh my God, what's Ang Pao? I'm gonna show you Ang Pao, okay? Like, <gasps> Ang Pao, okay, is there Ang Pao here? Oh no, why? Why isn't there like an Ang Pao picture? Can I just like, like emoticon? I don't understand, like red packet, red packet. No, oh no, there isn't. But I find it funny, like when I, I type red packet, um, all these like funny emote like the money emotes came up. <laughs> it's just, just so funny. <laughs> I think it's like a closer thing. Okay, never mind. Like I'm gonna show you what is an ang pao, okay? Ang ang pao. <laughs> ang pao. It's the best ever. So so yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna just quickly share the screen capture. This is ang pao, right? Like why is it called ang pao? It's because ang ang is red right ang pao pao means like a packet so it means red packet and it just like it's where the elf like old people like your dad your mom you know like parents put money in there for you and they would give it to you on new year's day chinese new year so like that's the best stuff right as ari says that's the best stuff ever um because you know um when do they ever happily give you money you know without you doing stuff for them oh can i spend uh gift cards from the US. Uh actually I am not sure. Uh I think I can I, I used to get like gift cards on Amazon and then I would like buy books and stuff. I was I think I'm able to do that. Yeah yeah. 
Oh, Greg says a local Chinese food restaurant, if you order on a New Year's, they would give you one with a coupon. Ooh, that's nice. That's a nice touch. You know, I, I like it that in the States, right, when you go to a Chinese restaurant, they would actually give you like the fortune cookie and there's like a little fortune telling thing that comes together. I think I mentioned it before, like it's a very fun thing. And I, yeah, I mentioned it in the stream before where like I was like opening up, it was really hilarious because yeah, it was just funny. But anyway, yeah, that's about, that's about Ang Pao, you know, and about like Chinese stuff. But you know, in, interestingly, it's not a very big thing here in Singapore, like in the Asian country, like who use, who, who gives out like fortune cookies, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not an Asian thing. Okay, Ari, this is, this is, I'm not sure if you can see, this is manganese blue nova. Okay, I am uh, going to, I'm going to just um, adjust the camera because like I, I took out the auto focus. So it's now not focusing, auto focusing. So I'm gonna, I just turn it on. So I hope, it, can you see? So this is manganese blue nova. Oh, no, 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 up. <laughs> Manganese blue genuine. Okay, so this is manganese blue genuine. Can look at that, like, look at that granulation. It's just like pretty awesome. All right, it's so awesome. Um, and I don't think you can actually mix this. Um, that's also like this is a bigger one, right? Yeah, but it's super super pretty. It's like a very intense blue with a uh, granulation. I actually have the pigment for it. But I think um, I, I, I noted <laughs> the uh, advice that it might be poisonous. Um, so I'm going to like kind of read up a little bit more before I start making it. Like, yeah, because I got the pigment. Yeah, I guess you could use cerulean. Cerulean blue until it might be a little bit too greenish, I think. So maybe the manganese blue nova from Hobin and some granulating blue. I don't know what, maybe ultramarine blue. Um, how about cobalt blue deep or something? Yeah, it's very nice. This is very very strong. It's so nice. Um, this is from um X. I got this from Etsy from uh, some makers, but I think that you can find it in a few places. So this is so someone asked um in one of my videos uh how to mix this one um from like existing pigments like existing paint, but I don't think you can use this one at all. You can, I don't think you, it's ab you are like able to get this, um, like especially the granulation. So I'm not, not sure what granulation would be good for this. Um, probably ultramarine blue, like especially here. So yeah, so I, I don't know. It, I could actually use manganese blue nova and maybe cobalt blue deep or like ultramarine blue. I don't know. Yeah. There. So this is the color. Try your best, Ari, to mix this one. Okay. Try to make it. Oh, Hippo says like fortune cookies invented in San Francisco. <laughs> no wonder. Uh, okay. Use Hobin's uh, cerulean blue. It's more on the redder side. Oh, or maybe I'm just expecting more cosmic fellow. Huh? Which one? Oh, you mean like the, oh the the one the Daniel Smith hue. Yeah, so in fact, even the um, Hobin one is also like a PB15, if I'm not wrong. So, yeah, let me turn off the auto because I don't want it to be automatic. So I have to kind of adjust this again. So I am uh, really hoping that um, the stream quality is much better now. Like, uh, in, in, in what I mean, like in terms of the, um, what do you call that? The... Uh, image uh, i hope it's much better right now okay i think it looks okay from my like the focus is okay here so let me know if it's our focus okay ah ha ha okay there let's just close the ang pao right uh okay so now i'm gonna start painting right tonight i'm gonna paint a flower so i'm not sure what, what are you guys painting what are you guys painting this time I'm not sure if everybody else could see, but yeah. Let, okay, let me just kind of quickly check my image. Oh, let's look for that image. Oh, where is it? Is it in downloads? Why is it not there? Hey, I am confused. Like it should be in my my. It should be in my download. So I'm not sure why it's not there. Could it be my picture or something? Could it be? No. Huh? 
Okay, hold on for a minute. I'm just trying my best to find stuff. For some reason, it's just not showing. Okay, open. No. Okay, I don't know what happened. Like, I can't find. Could I? Do I have to actually put it there? Uh, how about under my picture? It's not under my picture either. Okay, I don't know where it is. Huh? Huh? I thought I downloaded it. Hmm. 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 Okay, it's okay. It's fine. I'm just gonna just show this one instead. Okay. Oh, it's so tiny. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but yeah, there you go. So, <laughs> ah, what did I just do? Okay. Just gonna quite quickly. So this is <laughs> this is how it looks right now. Like, I like how I could just like move stuff around. Okay, there. So let's see. Um, Greg says. Okay, so Ari says English bluebell for the flowers. So what's the difference between between bluebell and English bluebell? Like I I find like sometimes like it's like oh well, then you can have French bluebell, you know, and then it's like F for bluebell, <laughs> you know. Um, or like, you, you, I don't know, <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, and Greg says, I made like a little, ah, uh, charcuterie, charcuterie, char charcuterie board for breakfast. But this telling me is quite spicy and I don't know. <laughs> drink more water, okay? And, and like drink milk. So I heard that if you, like, if you are like, um, too, if it's too spicy, like it, you should drink some milk. That's going to help like remove the spiciness from the tongue like yeah so do that oh and Ari says hope hoping I am I'm gonna be able to add like the lavender color in nice <laughs> oh yeah this Virginia blue bell oh you heard that blue blue bells are rare outside of of UK you know I've seen a lot of um, pictures of like a few. Oh, anyway, just to kind of quickly show, I am drinking my lavender, like tea over here. So I have this like thermos and like my lavender, lavender, lavender. I don't know, you can't see it, but my lavender is like kind of floating in there. <laughs> it's kind of making me like sleepy and like make, keeping me relaxed um, for the stream, okay? I don't think I'll fall asleep, but haha. <laughs> mm. mm. Yeah, so, okay, let's go. Let's do this. So, I am just going to bring out my pencil, okay? Um, and, um, unfortunately, I could just share, like, I don't know why that it is this way. Like, I don't know why I couldn't share the actual photograph, but I have to share my thumbnail. <laughs> Wake up, Alice, it's 8 a.m. <laughs> It's 8 a.m. where you are. <laughs> it's like 10, like 11, 10 30 p.m. where I am. So after this, I'm going to sleep, all right? <laughs> so I am, it's good. Like, I think it's good timing. When I'm finished with this, I can happily go sleep. So this was the photo that I got from, um, uh, yeah, you're, you, it's already there, like, like here, right? So this is the one I got from um, uh, Unsplash. You this. Uh, you disagree? Oh, Ari says, I'm so sick of lavender tea. Every <laughs> tea said, I guess, either Rosella or lavender. It's nice, actually. I quite like it. Um, I don't know. I, I guess too much of it is like, mm. <laughs> um, especially if you like have been having it for like so long and you're like having lavender, uh, lavender ca uh, candles or lavender scent like everywhere else in the house. That's It's going to be a little bit too much, I feel. Just like, you know, um, in some, especially if you go to spas, right? The, 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 the scent that is very popular is uh, lemongrass. And then it's like you go into this lavender house, grass house, and you come out like smelling it like lemongrass. <laughs> oh, your sister bought you 200 grams. Okay, so I, my friend got me, okay, my colleague got me, got me a, a bottle of, uh, got a bottle of um, lavender for me, like dried lavender flower for tea, right? Um, last year for my birthday. Um, and it's supposed to, it will expire in, in April, so I'm hoping to like finish it. <laughs> so I've been drinking it every night. I'm not sure if it's helping me to sleep. I mean, I think it's the same. I don't feel more sleepy or anything. So I think it's just for the scent. I quite like the way, the smell. 
Oh, and Greg says, the o- I don't like tea. Okay, the only drinks that I like are water, soda, and chocolate milk. <laughs> How about coffee? I love coffee. Like, I actually had three cups, no, two cups of coffee today. Like, I had a, a, a black, no, I had two cups of latte. <laughs> because we have, uh, we got a Bravel. Um, it's uh, like a coffee um, espresso machine. And, um, and, and you know, I... I, I used to be a barista I, I when I was like I worked as a bar- barista when I was like in uni um, and I kind of like picked up drinking coffee from there and I they taught us how to make like um, like lattes you know the different specialty drinks so yeah and I think it's like my, <laughs> riding a bicycle like it doesn't leave you like I, I, I could still like make I could still steam milk you know I could still make like a cappuccino but Unfortunately, I'm not able to do like those like um, um, uh, latte art, you know. Uh, yeah, which is really sad because I, I think that's like one of the most, like, that kind of makes the coffee so nice, the, 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 that part to it. I know chocolate milk is the best. Oh, Milo, is Milo the best? <laughs> I think we talked, we spoke about Milo just a few, a while back, right? Like last, the last stream or the stream before the last stream? Greg says, oh, and watermelon juice. Yeah, watermelon juice is also like a kind of a kid's palate kind of a fruit juice. I am, I think watermelon is better eaten, you know. I feel like it's a waste of drinking watermelon um, like juice when you can eat the fruit, you know. It's crunchy, no crunchy, it's like juicy and it's sweet. Um, I feel like watermelon is, is, it's nice. It's just it's like a dessert on its own. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and how about Greg? What are you <laughs> what are you painting for flowers? And Greg says, no, watermelon juice is a mature men's drink for adults with sophisticated palates. <laughs> that's that's um Mahito, mahito, I would say. I don't think watermelon juice is for uh, her mature man uh, her drinking. <laughs> like, oh, you could like drink, you could tell the difference between the watermelon from like uh, UK and the watermelon from China, you know? I don't think so. Like even for me, right, when I drink coffee, I am sad. I wouldn't say I'm sad, but I am, I am telling you, I, I can't tell the difference between like, you know, like how like, I don't drink wine, but there's this thing about like wine wine drinker, um, like always, always talking about like note, um, like this, like I don't know, like base note, whatever note, <laughs> in a in a in a wine, and I don't taste this. I don't taste this in in coffee. Like they said, oh, this one is uh like plum or like this is chocolate. Like, to me, it's like, hey, it's just coffee, isn't it? I don't even taste the difference. Like, <laughs> so I don't know if you are like this or you actually do have, like, you can tell the difference. Mm-hmm. Because you are the main character, you know. <laughs> Rhapsody says. <laughs> she is asking you, Greg, is it because a mature manly man breaks <laughs> the watermelon with the bare hands? Uh huh. <laughs> That sounds like a hard, like a difficult job, like just difficult thing to do, you know. <laughs> you do really. <laughs> I think the only thing I break right um, is uh, <laughs> probably like longan <laughs> or rambutan, <laughs> where we like break the like the fruit. Like I don't take those stuff, you know. But you know, it, it, it there's these like hairy fruit thingies. Um, you just like yeah, you 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 press it and then you could crack it into two, you know. Um, so that's like the only like cracking of fruit that I do. Um, I never do because I don't like it, you know. <laughs> yes, Greg is the main character. Yes, of course. <laughs> oh hell, Craig, Greg, the main character, main character and his like uh, mousy, mousy sidekicks. So uh, I am uh, wishing, hoping that you would like do like continue the mouse, the my stories. And maybe like build us a like you know I don't I'm not sure if you are familiar with um Terry Pratchett, who came up with a whole like like universe, um, of a uh, a fantasy, um uh, like of a uh, a big turtle, <laughs> walking through space carrying a flat disc of called this world, 
So you could like do a little universe of your little mousies, you know? That would be fun. Like you could do like the, the Emperor. I think you already have two characters, uh, which is Mr. Uh, Brown Mouse, Brown Mouse and Mr. Red, like I think it was White, White Mouse. Uh, and, and they like being the new uh, king, you know, you could do their life stories or something. <laughs> Oh, you love Terry Bradshaw! Yay! <laughs> yay, yay, yay! You have good taste! Woohoo! <laughs> yay, of course, we all love... I feel like Terry Pratchett people are like kind of somehow connected through <laughs> universe and... <laughs> like, I, I, I had a few friends and, you know, I, I really like Rins... You see Rins win? <laughs> I like that magician guy, he's so funny. <laughs> yeah. And and Drex and and Ari says I don't really like rambutan because the flesh sometimes gets stuck to the skin. Oh, okay, of the seed. So we prefer longan or lychee. I don't I don't like these fruits. I'm weird. I don't like I don't like exotic, tropical fruits. Um, longan, lychee, rambutan, balonglong. <laughs> what else? Uh, well, I don't know what. Like all those like weird fruits with seeds inside. I don't like them. I don't I. I don't know why I don't like them, but I just don't. <laughs> I think the only fruit that I would like willingly eat, you know, and willingly like make myself to like, like um, take the effort to, to, to peel it and eat it is actually dragon fruit. That's like my favorite. <laughs> oh, 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 Rhapsody asks, is DRJS Pro a Terry Pressure fan too? Oh no, he does not read, um, I don't know, fiction? He doesn't read a lot of fiction. Um, but we have other common commonalities. He just doesn't read those stuff. Um, but I know like a few friends who would read. <laughs> no, he does not read. He <laughs> he writes books. No, no, he does not. No, he he is so busy with work, I think. I think as a, as a kid, you know, um, I don't know. There, there are like different people, different types of people. Um, in, in that I know there are those people who, who read because they like reading you know there are those people who read because they had to read because they had to pass exam so I think he's the sort who reads because he has to pass exam um, and his passion is actually Lego you know <laughs> like mechanical things so he loves like um, you know Lego things that has to do with like yeah like things that you need to put together kind of stuff but 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 he made, like he painted, he did his first gouache painting today, so yay, yay, yay. <laughs> he's too sophisticated. <laughs> of course he's not illiterate. <laughs> he is too good, all right. He, he painted his first um, gouache and I am so proud of him because, you know, he always say like he does not paint, but he really, you know, he, he, he actually spent time this afternoon thinking about what to do for the postcard so he did a draft he did a little draft and he came back home and he asked me for paper and and i was like okay all right um i gave him a piece of pao hong right pao hong, um, paper and then and then he i i, I was looking at his design and i said like oh i think you should try using pen, color pencils that would be easier because you know it's easier to control you know what i mean and then uh, <laughs> and then he goes like um uh okay no no i'm, I'm gonna use gouache because i i need the white I go like, what? Gouache? You sure you want gouache? <laughs> so he was, what? <laughs> so he, I gave him the whole uh, Mia gouache and yeah, he painted something out of it, which is good. <sighs> and Greg says, my favorite Shakespearean, Shakespeare, Shakespeare, Shakespeare play is Macbeth. Oh, okay. And the library was having a sale of old books and oh, it was the Weird Sisters. So my mom bought it for me on a whim and then consume the rest of the series to high school and college? <gasps> oh no, what? <laughs> that is crazy. So I think I, I don't know how or why or when or why, why I got into Terry Pratchett, but I think my first book, I probably found it, like I read, I, I found the, the I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a fantasy novel lover. Like I like, I love fantasy books. So I, of course I read Harry Potter. Of course, I read like Terry, uh, what's that? J.R. J.R. Tolkien. Um, I didn't read the the Game of Thrones, right? Game of Thrones is not exactly fantasy. Okay, Game of Thrones is fantasy. Okay, yeah, I didn't actually read that one. Um, I don't know why. So when I went, I, I remember I was kind of intrigued by the um, 
the cover. So I, I went ahead and borrowed it from your library. I forgot which one I borrowed. Probably the colors of magic. The colors of, probably the colors of magic. That's probably the first one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Greg is asking, which one is your favorite book in the series? I'm torn between uh, Witches Abroad and Snuff. Ooh. <laughs> go, go, go. Go get. Go. Oh, my favorite. Oh, you, no, you don't get to see it. <laughs> I, I will send it out. But everyone will get to guess. Like You're referring to the RGF process work, um, work right? <laughs> so you'll get to see it. Okay. Was it to pass an exam? Of course it's to pass an exam. So anyway, for me, right, um, I my favorite book from the series is, like, pretty surprising. I don't know. Like, I love um, Small Gods. I love Small Gods. I love... Um, that's one about death. Like, I uh, forgot the name of that book. Oh, I got to find it. Okay, all the teleport... I, I, I'm, I'm actually... You know, I even I even was like a subscriber. You know, they had like a like kind of a newsletter thing. So I was like like there. Hey, RK! Hi! Hey, hey! Oh my God! How are you? Hey, hey love! Oh, oh, I can't do that. <laughs> How is this? So RK, I have um updated. <laughs> um, I'm now not using um the Riverside. I'm actually using Stream Labs. And I hope you like this one because now you can actually see the chat over here. Okay, so I hope this is good for you. Um, and I hope that you find this is better. All right, I'm not sure if it's the best. Um, but yeah, I think it's it's good. Right, I think it's it's an, it's not too bad. So I am going to quickly just kind of look at Terry Pratchett books. Like I'm just so sad that he, he passed away. Um, yeah. Like he would like I love his stories. Like I love all his books. Oh, that's just even a, like a reading order thing. So woohoo! Okay, hi. I'm not going to go into it. So uh, okay, let me just. Oh, there's so many. Okay, let me just kind of quickly show you guys. Yay! 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 Yeah, I hope you like this one. So yeah, and and this one is actually quite. Good. I think the only b bad thing about using this is that I can't really invite people to join. You know, uh, yeah, which is which is pretty sad. Yeah. So this is Terry Pratchett's books, which I I write. Uh, I don't think I read like all of them. Um, all right. I think I read Hot Father. Good Omens. I think I read, okay, I read Good Omens, The Color of Magic, uh, Hawk Flutter, uh, Small Gods. I might have read Equal Rights. Okay, I didn't read Weird Sister. Okay, I don't know why I didn't. Uh, like Fantastic, I read. Okay. Uh, well, 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 well. Bits of, ah, Witches Abroad. Oh, I haven't read Snuff. Uh, what else? What else? There's so many. The Carpet People, I actually read this one. Uh, there actually have there are so many like I haven't really read like I didn't read. Ah uh, wait, where's the death one? Where's the death one? Is that Mort? I don't remember. Okay, or Reaper Man. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, Father is great. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> oh, I don't remember if that is a like a a a, a death death one. But I love those books. You should. Oh, you don't think Mod is... Oh, it's like the Death Apprentice. Ah, okay. But I heard that the Night Watch is really good. I haven't read it though. I heard it's really, really good. Um, Good Omens really good as well. I love Small Gods. Like, I still remember. Like, I, I really have that picture of like gods like hoping for people to like worship them. You know, kind of thing. It's really cute. Yeah. Well, I remember there are actually quite a few of the stories um, that were like the Color of Magic like um series right this one i think uh, the light fantastic was also part of it where we have rinse win the uh weird looking guy you know so i i don't know i think i should i should start reading them all <laughs> night watch is great okay i should read it like i should actually read it so yeah thank you thank you i i, I really love them so maybe one of these days when i'm free i should read like the all the stories like from front to back yeah that is a good idea. So if anyone wants to get me a present, <laughs> maybe get me Terry Pratchett books. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Hey, morning, Nancy. Hey, Nancy, do you find this very um, um, nostalgic? <laughs> because I think we, I use, 
Oh, it's okay, Nancy. I was just wondering where you are, but it's okay. I'm sure you come on. You know, it's just maybe I was just thinking maybe you you were tired or you, you needed like more sleep. It's okay because I know it's it's really too uh so early for you. Um, but don't worry. But yeah, I hope you like this one because I feel like um I think RK say that it's one. 1080p and it's great <laughs> yay <laughs> that's nice okay so i hope you guys like this um but i i really really thank um rk for pushing me because you know i would say pushing but he kind of think that there's more i could do and and he did such i, I think he really took take a lot of time to go through all the literature literature <laughs> the the videos and the uh, advice online and and he kind of suggested Riverside, which then I thought, yeah, maybe let's try it. And then I realized, hey, I actually did this before. <laughs> why didn't I? Like, why didn't I, um, you know, do this? But I think that was because um, I wasn't on Ethernet before. And then, um, yeah, it, it was so difficult because I I don't know. Like, if Nancy remember or Rapsif remember how I was always, like, lagging and buffering. And, <laughs> and I had to come back. And there was, like, one stream where I actually had to, like, come back, like, six, seven times. And it was just horrifying. Oh, which stream one is this? Okay, it is um, uh, StreamYard. Okay? And not StreamYard. I'm sorry. Stream, stream Labs. Stream Labs. So um, this is not the OBS. This is just Streamlabs. Uh, you got to download it. Any, but you you have to download it. Oh wait, hold on. Why can't? Oh sorry. I'm gonna just type it again. I'm sorry. I didn't type it in. Oh, oh, oh. Streamlabs. Uh, yay! There you go. Streamlabs. Hey yo. <gasps> oh kid Oh 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 oh. <laughs> Greg says if you ever stream at night, you could read them to us as a bedtime story. <laughs> Okay, I can try reading it. <laughs> I can try. It'll be funny. <laughs> really, really funny. <laughs> okay. Oh, and he both says I only read Nightwatch. That's a good good one because I think Nightwatch is one of his best books. So you you chose the right one to read. I don't know why. Like I didn't read that. <laughs> but yeah, I probably need to start reading because I don't know. I mean, I feel like, yeah. It's just something that I want to do, but I just, I don't know why I haven't started doing it, but yeah, I, I'm just gonna, yeah, I should. Oh, hello, Penny Nighting! Hello! <laughs> hi, hi! <laughs> Rhapsody is the duodagonist, okay? <laughs> the two of you, lah. <laughs> and Greg says, oh, he, he got Stromtium Violet. Oh, this must be really nice. Oh, RK, um, this is me. <laughs> RK's gonna kill me. He's like, what? <laughs> you got this ability to do 1080 and now you... <laughs> and it's free. <laughs> yeah, okay. And my, my reason, reason why I, was, I wasn't using this was because it was, um, I wasn't on, on internet at that time. And then I keep having issues with like, um, streams, um, um, buffering and, and lagging and, and like just cutting off like with no reason so i i was like kind of disheartened and and i i thought like okay fine i am giving up <laughs> let me use an easier like a cheaper like a, a web-based alternative because i was just thinking if it was because because this is a down like this is a desktop um i had to download this so i was just wondering whether my uh maybe my um macbook couldn't support it but turns out like it's actually okay. So after I changed, like switch to Ethernet, um, yeah, I, I thought let's just try it again since yeah, since since you know, okay, okay, right a, eh? um. But it, if I were to like stream like multi stream, I need to pay for the ultra uh, membership, um, which then you know I might be able to stream to Twitch, but. I don't know like i i know i don't know if you guys still watch like i don't know if people still like watch twitch go to twitch like do you guys any one of you here do twitch <laughs> yes yes rk it is good it's just that i i think it's now working i need kind of push me to get like the ethernet like if i didn't get the adapter i would never like but thank you so much i think you really helped a lot <laughs> hey 
Oh, Kane says she is having a nice latte. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. Nancy, Nancy says she's having... What? Hold on, wait. Nancy's having ice latte this morning? Is Nancy having ice latte? Or is Payne having nice latte? <laughs> oh yeah, she is having less nice la uh, morning. Morning? Uh, evening, you mean. <laughs> oh, you didn't see the B in the reference. I couldn't figure out where you put a weird bomb on a cone. It is a B! <laughs> oh, is Twitch like, oh, full of pun now? Or oh, what? What? It's not? <laughs> Artistic nudity. <laughs> oh, most art stream on Twitch are terrible. Oh, okay. I I don't know. I I don't. I I I see a lot of um like digital art, but you know, as I don't, I'm not a digital artist. I tend to not like get a lot of views when I do Twitch. You know, I did. I did. I did. I think I started there, and you know, in fact. Uh, I when I started in Twitch, I actually get it's funny. Like I got, I think okay. I tell I'm telling you, I think the uh, whatever's in the center of that flower is gonna be so difficult to draw. Like, uh, I am having trouble right now. I need to think how to draw this because I think this is definitely gonna like make or break this painting. Um, if I don't do it well, it's gonna look so odd. So I'm gonna have to try my best. Try my best. <laughs> <Are> <laughs> Poor Ari. <laughs> Ari's so angry. <laughs> People, don't bully Ari. <laughs> he likes digital art, right? <laughs> and I think Hippo does it for uh, for the uh, games. Yeah, I think I think most people go on Twitch for games. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's how it is. Um, and I know, I don't know. Like, I think, you know, when we were, had, we had the... Um, when when COVID was like the like at its peak, right? I think there there were a lot of artists doing like um online stuff, like they were doing, um, all these like streams and stuff. So yeah, I think that is this um thing about, um, uh, for a while you know it became like pretty popular, but I think the popularity has is now gone. I don't know. <laughs> okay he both says i love digital art when it's good okay yeah i know like i think i there are some really good like digital artists and they um sometimes stream i think and people would like watch um but that's probably not so popular like not so common I don't know. I don't. I don't actually watch live stream. That I don't know. This is so bad. Why is this so bad? I think I'm just, you know. I think it's this direction. Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna like bring this down a little bit more so that you guys can see me make mistake. Oh, I can't. Okay, hold on. I have to bring this down this way. See me make mistake <laughs> in details. Okay. Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, wrong direction. Down. Go down. Ah, down, down, down. Oh, okay. See me make mistakes! <laughs> okay, Nancy says, I am having banana, mango, Greek yogurt, ginger crystal smoothie for, for, for breakfast. Wow, so nice. Yummy, yummy. How do you make it? Do you just dump everything in the uh, like blender and just let everything blend? Uh, you know, like, <laughs> I finally fixed my blender. I don't know if you guys remember, I have a blender um from a long time like I, I i was using it for a long time and then it kind of died died it you know um it i, I broke it because i was trying to make some smoothie um like I f we finally got it like fixed i think i mentioned it right so yeah it's it's back so i could like like um potentially make some some uh what do you call that some of these like the um uh smoothie yeah, I just haven't had time. Like, I in fact, I think I had like I have some Greek yogurt. Do you add water to yours, Nancy? Ah, uh, Ari says watching people go mad playing League of Leagues. So I'm not the what's mal 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 like. What does that mean? Mal mal mad or mal mal like. What does mal mean? Okay, I'm I'm just gonna quickly Google that. I'm sorry. Like <laughs> some of these terms, I tell you. 
Ah, okay. What's more extremely angry? Okay, <laughs> rage, right? It's like <laughs> I call it rage, but it's the same thing, isn't it? And Greg says the same part of my brain that plays games pain, so I can't do both on the same day because the other exhausts me. Usually, I pl I choose painting. Okay. <laughs> How can game and pain be on like the same part of the brain? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. <laughs> and then she says, yes, yes, and add some water to the mix because it can be thick. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, these days I would do that. Oh, hi, Matthias. Hello. Hey, happy new year to you. Matthias, are you the same Matthias from Instagram? <gasps> are you? So anyway, if you are the same Matthias, um... Yeah, he looked like the same guy. <laughs> I like to thank Matthias like a lot because I think he was the guy who pushed me to do live streaming. Um, I was just kind of doing it. Yay! <laughs> Everybody say hi to Matthias. He's like, he's like the guy who started everything. Love. <laughs> howdy, howdy. <laughs> so because I, I think he, I, I kind of do this like randomly on Instagram. And I think he he kind of like DM me, right? You, I remember you sent me a DM and said like, hey, you know, you enjoy like my my um, live stream. And he, you said like, I should try to do this on Twitch or like YouTube and everybody's doing it. And, and that kind of stuff. So I think I, I started because of you. So thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, Matthias. Everyone give him like, uh, yeah, more heart, heart shape, everyone. <laughs> send him some love. Thank you, Matthias. Woo! Okay. <laughs> hey, Kathy is here. Hi, Kathy. Hi, hi. Hello. Good morning to you, Kathy. How are you? Oh, you're doing good. You're on vacation. Oh, that's nice. Good for you. Where are you? Are you in... Um, he's based in... Um, I don't remember. Is it Mexico? I don't remember. I'm so sorry, Matthias. I know he's based in the South America, but I don't remember which part of... <laughs> Just some, is it Mexico? I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, Catherine, how are you? you feeling better from, uh, from from COVID? You hope you probably you know good, well, and um, ready ready for the for the year, right? So I'm so sorry, like you couldn't take part in the give like the uh, postcard exchange, but we always have the next one, you know. So yeah, hope to see yours. And um, yeah, okay, I don't know if this works. Okay, it looks really odd. Brazil, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry you're from Brazil. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, he's from Brazil, everyone. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you ready to go? Oh, ready to go? Oh, you going on a holiday? Huh? <laughs> Kathy. Okay, so I don't know. This looks really odd. Okay, I, I, I figured this might be a problem <laughs> later on when I paint. Okay, I'll try my best. Okay, I've been talking so long. For one hour, I haven't painted. So sorry. Like, I hope you guys are like not waiting too long. You'll be like, hey, 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 what are you doing? Why are you talking so much? Ah, I tell you, I think these few, I haven't been painting, you know. So I think all these like um, few live streams that I did with no painting kind of like made me lazy, you know. And I don't know, I hope I can finish this. Ah, look what you guys made me do. Ah. <laughs> oh, Nancy, no, I haven't. Oh, ready to go, go painting? Oh, yeah, me, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Ready, ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you painting as well? Why are you painting? Nancy, no, I haven't gotten your postcard yet. So, oops, everyone, no, I'm waiting for Nancy's postcard. So yeah, I'm waiting for Nancy's postcard, um, and I, uh, I I won't be. I think I will probably send out the first batch first, and um, whoever's like matching with you will get it a bit later. So yeah, we see how that goes. No worries about it. Ah uh, okay. <laughs> Ivo says Mexico and Brazil are practically the same country. Ah uh, okay. And Natia says, oh, I'll just come came by to say hello since it's been a while. Have a good stream. Oh, thank you, Matthias. Have a great holiday, okay? Enjoy yourself. Um, and wherever you are, okay? See you. <laughs> yeah, so it's always nice to have, like, people pop in. You know, you, sometimes I feel like if you, even if you are not free, you know, I'm actually quite happy. Like, I think even B does that, like, just now. Like just pop in and say hi, you know, and, and, and just like, you know, catch up just a bit. 
you don't have to watch the whole stream. I'm actually happy about it. So yeah. Yes. Thank you, people. Made my day for like joining. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> okay, doke. So yeah, like I think painting this would be a bit difficult, like because I am not sure if I'm gonna be able to get like the colors over there. You know the pinker color. I think it it would be hard because I don't think I have any of those. Um, if I actually use these PV fifteens, that would be better. So, what? Oh, why did I pick this when I don't have any colors? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> Nancy says they are both below the United States. Yeah, they are both in the South America. So I mean, for me, right, this is really the as much as I know about like um, that region because it's really like quite far for us. For me, especially, I I don't know. Like, I feel like in my lifetime, I might never be able to visit somewhere so far. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I will be. Um, <laughs> this would be a purple flower, okay? It's gonna be like this Ecclesia is gonna be just blue. <laughs> I ha, ha, ha. Let's add a bit of Quimburn orange to it. It's gonna be grey. So it's gonna be a grey blue flower. Ew. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna be a grey flower. So it's okay, you know, like, I think. Let's let's just try it. Let's just try it out. Or perhaps I would actually just paint it purple. You know how would you do it, people? Oh, I'm sorry. Also, Nancy says Mexico is central and Brazil is in south. Ah, okay. Oh, like my geography. Thanks for like correcting me. Like more ge my geography is so like I really just thought of that whole area as just like south of America. <laughs> Yeah, so sorry if if that's that's uh yeah, but I learned something today, so thanks for that. Okay, I, I'm gonna just you know I'm gonna improvise because there is no way I would be able to achieve um the the red like the pink like what the I <laughs> why did I pick this flower? It's like now I'm regretting. Um, I'm just gonna use I'm just gonna paint it like um. Like I'm gonna use the the purple, like the smalt, like the like the uh what do you call that the purple no the pink yeah because this is in fact pink I think this is pink more pink than it is it might be good for the opera um month right Ari's looking forward to opera month everyone like Ari right I think Ari's looking forward to that month. Uh, where we paint the opera flowers, I don't know, opera flowers? No, <laughs> where we paint uh, pink, I think they're the flowers that we will have a few um, months that month. Like, you will, we would be able to, like, it would be really nice for painting because of the, the color is built for, for painting. Um, so I just hope that we wouldn't get, um, what's that word? We wouldn't get, like, a monochromatic colors because then, <laughs> I don't know. Ah, it's, it's beautiful, it smells good. Yeah, it does. So it's just a beautiful, beautiful flower. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is, this is gonna... <laughs> we'll, we'll find a way. So this is gonna look really, really different, okay, from the picture. So I hope you guys don't mind. Um, yeah. Okay, and then like here as well. So you know the other person who actually already done his painting, um, flower painting is Zhu Huan, right? He's like not here today, but yeah, but he's already done his assignment. He's super fast, and and he of course included like a human figure in it, which is super good. Oh, Greg says at my local park they have a variety that grows like four feet tall. Wow. Wow, really? Can you just go and get it? Like, could you just pluck it off from the park? 
<laughs> it feels le- it doesn't feel legitimate. It doesn't feel correct, you know, like right to just pluck it out from from the park. I I don't know. Are there like things that you all can't like? I'm sure they they would say like it's a no, right? Like it, you can't just pluck them off. Um, from there. Okay, I, I what I'll do now. Like I'm actually done. I think with the base layer. Okay, no, no, no. There's still this part, so I'm just gonna use. So I don't. I really don't know how this is gonna turn out. I'm, I'm hoping it won't turn out odd or weird. Um, no, no. I can't promise that it would look weird. It might look weird in the end. So yeah, do consider like how what color you would get. Uh, when you choose your flower, because like like me, I can't change it now. Like I don't think I wanna refine. Like I don't want to go through the stuff again. And I already painted, so yeah. Oh, you're gonna steal? <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> oh, seat Bob. Oh, you're gonna steal right now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you have grown them from seeds before. Ah, okay. Like, <laughs> oh, the whole plan. <laughs> oh no. Okay, would people know like that you stole one plant? And like, how would you run away with that plant? Oh, you mean a seed had like a ton on in them, depending on how many were eaten by birds. Oh, you mean like poop? Eh? Huh? How does that work? Yeah, so. Uh, I, I don't know about the rules where you are um, but I think here in Singapore I think it's the same in other countries like you're not supposed to like take plants <laughs> from the roads like this like it's public plant you know like it's uh, the strange rule like if you drive right and and you like destroy like you you, you destroy a, a tree you gotta pay the government for the tree you know they would like like you will get fined for it for and you're gonna pay them because you destroy a tree. Yeah. So. Mm. Oh, the whole cone in the picture. One of those things poking out is a seed. Ah, so you, you are referring to plucking one out. Ah, okay. Yeah, I guess. I guess it's fine. Right, I think so. Like, you could just, like, pluck it from one of those plants. Like, one of those, like, like flower that's kind of, like, like, like with it you know like it's on the it you're just helping it propagate so i don't see a problem with that i don't know but not like just not digging up the whole plant you know uh, if you are there when the head gardener or other gardeners are around you can ask for seeds they might provide it for you oh uh, yeah i guess you can uh oh and, and and he posts i saw a woman still what plant clipping from disney world didn't you stop her <laughs> like oh my god like did like didn't anyone see her walk around i don't know like okay i i was in korea i went to this park right um it's like it's called sunset park so you could see the sunset so there was like full of people and there were all these like grass growing along um and you could take picture and um i i i think um like people could just walk into the middle of nowhere and and they would like like just stample on the plant i feel really bad you know um i don't know if the plant would actually still survive <laughs> i don't know i feel quite bad for them yeah i, I guess getting one seat is fine yeah Oh, and, and Ari says, I am, I like taking some seed head of, uh, of Mexican sunflower in my house. We also help the plant to... Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so if they are dead, you, you know, if you are like on the ground anyway, just just take it. You know, I would pluck them, but I think I'm okay with just... If they are on the, on the ground, why not? Since they would be like thrown away and swept off. I don't... I think it's okay. Yeah. It, it feels fine to me. Yeah, I don't know how I will finish this work, but I will finish it. It's gonna start to feel like it's just a like monochromatic painting. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Oh, if you have ground... Oh, okay, keepers. I don't know if the city employs any gardeners. No? Huh? <laughs> Someone stole your plant. Huh? They got the soil pot as well. No, okay, I, I'm going to tell you a, fine, a funny story. So it, it's not like... I, I heard it from a friend. Like, he's an urban sketcher. So what happened was he, he has... Like, you know, like in Singapore, we live in flats. And like you it's kind of there is this common corridor where your neighbors could like just kind of walk past your door from like if they're gonna get from the lift to their unit they might walk through your door like your not, not your door walk through the corridor and your door will be on the way right and you sometimes because um like there's like limited space in the flats so most people would put their like plants outside the house so what happened with this friend of mine is he had like, I, I forgot what plant that was, okay? He had a plant in, in, in one of the pots, like really nice pot. And he loved the plant because I think he recently got it or something. And it went missing. So the plant, the whole pot of plant went missing. So he was really angry because I think it was not his first time losing a pot of plant. Um, and he like kind of rented like, it, he, he was just kind of ranting it in on, on Facebook and uh, just cursing the guy like you thief you took my plan you know you curse you <laughs> kind of stuff and then he found the plan oh uh, no he found the plan without its pot uh, at, at, the, at, at the foot of, of the flat right someone wanted his pot so they took away the plan they, they destroyed the plan they, they threw away the plan and took his pot <laughs> so the, I don't know if you Ah, oh, so sad. Oh, Paolo! Hello, Paolo! Heyo! <laughs> hi, hi! Good morning to you, Paolo! I'm not sure if you are familiar with this format. We have a new format, okay? I'm using Stream, uh, stream Labs. So you can actually see the, the chat over here. I'm not sure if it's too small. And over here, you can see that we have 10 people watching. Hello, 10 people! Hello! <laughs> if you are too uh, shy, just give a little wave, okay? <laughs> Ah. Oh, and Nancy says, we asked the gardener deadheading some plant and asked for some daisy seeds. He told us that there's some wild ones across the street and were free for plucking. Ah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's fine since I'm sure it's in abundance. Uh, Nari says, over here, there's a lot of oh, tabula plant and each November they bloom and produce some seed head. I was taking some with me since they... And, yeah, I know, right? And ground keepers are a good source of plant goodies, especially if you are nice or give them a bottle of water. Oh yeah, I'm sure they, they, they do. They even have like maybe clippings or seedings. Like even my neighbors, like I have some neighbors who actually, um, when they are kind of clearing up the plant, I don't know what you call that operation where you do cleaning up. I guess it's just gardening, you know. And they would like, just leave like clippings um, of, of the stuff that they took out and like in water and just like kind of place it outside their house and they they would like with a sign saying like help yourself to the plants and and yeah like just like that they you know you don't even they wouldn't even ask like you don't even have to ask them for it they would just they would just do it so yeah i i've never taken anything though because you know i don't know if you guys know <laughs> i am a brown finger anything that i touch uh, will die like any plant I touch will die so I, I, I am not interested in killing more plants um, so I didn't help myself to her plants yeah but we have nice uh, neighbors like these so I don't know my agnesia why my agnesia looks this like this but yeah hello looking up hey hi good evening how are you <laughs> We have a new format. Look, <laughs> actually, it's not new. It's just I used to do this on stream when I was streaming on Twitch. I used to have this overlay. I used to use Stream uh, Stream Labs. So now I'm just kind of using it. So yeah, I'm recycling this. There you go. <laughs> and then uh, there. Oh, okay. Ari says asking neighbor is probably the best way over here. Oh yeah, that's what we do over here as well. So if there's a particular plant that you want and you can they have it and you don't you could just ask them for it they might give you like especially like things like pandan i'm sorry paulo i have to bring up pandan again um, especially pandan you know um because it's it's kind of easy to to 
uh, propagate with just a little clipping so people would just just give away like if you were looking to make some desserts um, and you would like to have your own pandan leaf um, to go along like to 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 make your own desserts you could just you know, if you have a neighbor with those with that so just ask your neighbor and they will just very happily just give you a little a bit of it and you could like use that for growing and that kind of stuff so yeah pandan is one good example and maybe chili i don't know i don't know if chili works the same ah the casual name ah looking up says uh i have these flowers in my backyard every summer <laughs> oh wow good for you i don't know if we could just get these flowers anywhere like in singapore like probably rare like i don't think it's possible for me to find we get a lot of like isoras vogevera 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 yeah you know those um uh, more tropical ones i don't know like they, they they grow in the mediterranean you know that kind of um flowers not necessarily um somehow i've never seen these in, in singapore so yeah hmm the only thing like time i would actually see it is probably in some supplement store <laughs> you know they are pretty um popular as a like a herbal thing like you could actually make like a like a kind of a herbal preparation with this so i think that's probably the only time you would see a lot of uh, like the only time you would see this in singapore <laughs> like in in a in a in a gnc or something you know <laughs> in a bottle all crushed and and mixed with other herbs so there you go <laughs> hello g l e j j hello gregory hey hi good evening to you new format new format <laughs> i'm gonna tell everybody i have a new format today and ari says i really i got some really long bamboo for sticking plants for your from your neighbor wow your neighbor has has bamboos what I think I, I like bamboos, but the only, the thing that I don't like about bamboos is having it in my own house because you know how bamboo has these like tiny flower, like tiny leaves and when they shed, <laughs> you're gonna spend like so much time cleaning up after them. So I don't know, you know, I, I don't think I'm ready to, to spend too much time like sweeping up leaves and stuff. Yeah, but I mean, as if you use it just for a wrecking purpose, it's actually okay. I, I find it's anyway, you know, they, they will have to throw those like clippings away anyway. But what do they do? Like, why are they doing like taking them out? I feel like I my water control is not so good. Can you see all these? Like, I may have to like paint this over. Like, this part is really not so good. Yeah. <laughs> Paolo says, you just wanna bring Pandan to make me mad, right? <laughs> no, I'm so sorry, Paolo. I feel so bad. But that's really the, the best thing I, I could think of. Like, this is really the, 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 the application, you know, like, if you talk about, like, having plants and, and, and having it, like, being used, um, being uh, kind of shared among neighbors in Singapore, Pandan is the one, okay? Yeah, okay. And then she says, I am always giving away basil, chocolate mint, and zucchini. Zucchini? How do you make zucchini? How do you grow zucchini? I would love to have zucchini at home. I love eating zucchinis. Somehow it's not very popular here in Singapore, but I love them. They are so, they are like the more sexy. <laughs> <laughs> the sexier cousin of cucumbers. I don't know. I, I feel like if you give me cucumber versus like um, zucchini, I would just take the zucchini. Can I ask a question? Can you eat zucchini raw? Like does anyone eat zucchini raw? Like can you? Is it possible? Will like anything happen to you? I, I recently saw like um, some notice uh, in the supermarket um, that they actually like i don't know why they had that maybe someone died i don't know like oh like when i went to buy like golden mushrooms someone said like oh you know um uh, no no the, the sign said um please cook your golden mushrooms like you are not to eat them raw so i, I don't know like why is there such a sign in the supermarket if not like because someone actually ate it and something something bad 
happen to the person. I don't know. Hey, yo. Oh, Ben. Oh, oh, and Ari says, um, making st steamed sticky rice with pandan is great. Ooh, sounds really nice. Yum. Only like glutinous rice with pandan. Ooh, sounds really good. Like, I think all Peranakan, um, like uh, Nonya, uh, you know, the Indonesian snacks, like, or like Malaysian snacks, they, 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 the, they, most of them would have pandan in it. So let's not talk about pandan anymore because <laughs> Paolo will flip. <laughs> let's not have him flip, okay? <laughs> no pandan for you. Oh no. <laughs> Bamboo is a nightmare to clean. Huh? Is it? Why? Why is it? Oh, and Elijah says, I like food made with, with bamboo. Huh? How do you make that with bamboo? Hmm. <laughs> okay, and, and, and Paulo says, maybe sometime in the future, I can get a pandan seed. <gasps> How? Are you coming over to Asia? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Nancy says, I don't have a garden anymore. Oh, can you grow it indoors? And, and, and Ari says, zucchini or bear fruits all the time. And you can eat it raw? Really? Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't know if I can grow it here though. It's something that I could, yeah, it's probably something I could do. I love them so much. I always find it hard to find. Like, I can't find it. I can never find pandan. Yeah, not pandan, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I can never find zucchini in the supermarket. I don't know why they don't have it. It's such a nice uh, fruit, like nice vegetable. Like, is it a fruit? Or vegetable, I really don't know, but I really love it. I love it. I love. I love it. Like fried. I love it. Um, yeah. What else do you do with it? Like on in ratatouille, you know? Have we talked about it? I think. I think zucchini is something that we have discussed before. Uh, with the flowers and everything. So it, yeah, it's not until Z though. Like you got to wait until Z for zucchini flower. I don't know how how that's gonna go. Hmm. So yeah, so this is me trying to paint a pink flower, but it is purple. <laughs> it is blue. Okay. Oh, hello, Gina. Okay, there. Oh, okay, so Ari says, if you harvest one, there's like three more on the plant. <laughs> okay, really, really good. Nice. And Greg says, I have neighbors who have a tickle of bamboo and in Halloween, they make a ooh, mini haunted maze for trick or treat. Oh, that's nice. <gasps> that is so cute but i don't know i i don't feel safe going to like going inside um a tickle of uh bamboo <laughs> i don't know i feel like it's probably gonna be full of like stuff like critters inside <laughs> oh zucchini will take a half of your garden <laughs> okay okay got to be careful but if that's the case, you know, I'm happy. I can eat, like, I can eat zucchini every day. I don't mind. I will polish it off. <laughs> and hello, Gina. Good morning. And bamboo grows like wheat. Ah, okay, okay. Be careful. <laughs> oh, you grow them once, they do get everywhere. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm not a, I don't grow that stuff, but I eat them. Uh, okay, sounds like an easy plan. Probably even for like a brown finger that like me, they are probably gonna not die, I hope. Yeah, probably something that I, I can try growing. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing this like really, really like slowly and like just carefully, you know, just painting slowly, just enjoying the pain because I only just have one flower, which kind of makes it easier. Uh, to just concentrate. I feel like for um, flora painting, it's good to just, you know, take some time and just relax and just enjoy the paint than to like rush it out. So I, I think it's okay. Like I, I'm actually okay just doing this slowly. Hope you guys are actually okay because it's kind of boring looking at me just using um, smoked one color <laughs> all the time. So yeah, dude. yeah, it's, I will move on to the, the, what do you call this? The head? Seat head? What do you call this? Seat head? Oh, okay. And Ari says, I love zucchini, uh, but despise a <laughs> plant, so I don't know about making ratatouille. 
Or I guess you can use something else if you do not like eggplant. You could use like oh carrots, radish. I don't know. Um, yeah, I have no experience in making. Like it sounds really complicated. Like if Ratatouille makes it, I don't think it's something that I can make. You know the show, the Ratatouille movie. So yeah, that's one of my favorite movie by the way. Um, it's really really cute. Yeah. Okay, and then, uh, yeah. Oh, kiddo. I don't know if this is uh, good enough. Okay, so I'm just like doing this slowly. But yeah, this is probably not the right color for it. I apologize. Ratatouille's French peasant food. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, but it's really like it feels so special. Like especially after the watching the movie, I thought it's just something that is so difficult to do. Like especially like the uh, making it into tiny little like um like pieces, you know. Um, that feels like like you need to genuinely have a very sharp knife, <laughs> all the mandolin or something. And, and it's pretty dangerous, you know, mandolin. Like, I remember when I was painting, painting, I was trying to make a salad, like, um, I, I don't know, like, that was probably a um, few years back when I was, like, still kind of cooking because, you know, like, how um, the COVID has made everyone, like, a uh, cook. <laughs> so I was trying to make some salad. Uh, was I trying to make salad? No, I don't think I was making salad. I was just trying to make, like, yeah, I was just trying to shred, like, shred some cabbage. And I... Like kind of peel off like parts of my, my, my fingernail, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I want to tell you a funny. Like it's really funny. I don't know if you guys um can see my stats, but um I was kind of reviewing my streams, my stats. Um, like which is my most popular video, and I had one video right that had like thirty thousand views. Like it was my most popular video. Could you guys guess which video that was? Like it's guess which video of mine had like thirty thousand views, like just in like two days or something. It'd be fun. Like everyone, anyone, could you try? Like you guys can try guessing. <laughs> I think you guys, no one will get it right. Like it's it's like a kind of surprise for me too. So if you guys, no one's gonna guess, I will just tell you guys like which one had like 30. I did, I didn't do a, a, a recipe video, but I did a cooking video. So I had a reel, reel, um, about, um, and I actually made it for Paolo. <laughs> Paolo, are you around? That video's for you. No, it's not the Swache Kimi because I never did that. <laughs> so the video that I actually did, like that had 30,000 view was a video I made for, for Paolo because he was, we were kind of like talking about um, 18th century eggs and and he was like, I think he kind of made a comment that he want to see uh, century eggs, like how it's made, like how we would actually cook it, how we would actually like process it and how it looks inside. Yeah, I know, right? And, and so... And so what happened was, um, I tr I made a, a reel, um, and that reel actually had 30,000 views. It's like my most watched, like it was my most popular, um, like most viewed video. Like it's not even art related, so I don't know what happened. Maybe I should like turn to cooking show, you know. <laughs> I should, I should like do a cooking show instead. So it, it's really, really funny. I don't know why it went viral, but it just went viral. It's a very weird, weird thing. Like, uh, it's it doesn't make sense sometimes. Like, I feel like somehow, sometimes, the world doesn't make sense, like, nowadays. Like, everything's just, just kind of weird. Like, everything just, everything doesn't, doesn't follow, it's not logical. Like, things don't, they are not logical anymore. I don't know. It's just weird. 
So anyway, it was like my most watched video. Weird, right? Weird but true. Ah, cook food and paint it afterwards. Best of the both worlds. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, but I'm unfortunately, I'm not a good cook. <laughs> I can cook, but it's really um, just for like not dying. <laughs> just for my nourishment so that I don't die. And for diet, I don't know, diet purpose? So yeah, but I think something that we could do, you know, as like painters or sketchers or what you call that, like, you know, just, just people painting, you know, is actually doing like, um, uh, you know, what, um, I don't know if you guys know, like, I'm also part of the um, cafe sketches. So what we do is we, um, they go, we go around like sketching food um, at restaurants and stuff. Um, yeah and that was that those outings are always like pretty fun like we always have um good food and it's always um but the problem with those streams is like those art um those like meetups is you kind of go hungry for a while because and and you kind of not you're like not able to like really enjoy the food because you know that same like the the restaurant's gonna prepare the food and they're gonna like let you sketch right so once you're done like it's gonna be passed to the next person who's still like painting you know so you don't get to enjoy it at all so it's just it's really for for painting you know and 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 after you're done the food's gonna be like uh a wee bit like like um it's gonna be quite um cold you know and and probably not as nice if you had it like fresh so i think that's 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 about you know uh, painting like um cafe sketching yeah so cafe sketching is it's kind of fun it's just that most of the time the cafe sketches would actually meet on a weekday like evening where there are like actually less people in the restaurants so that they could like just take a whole like um uh, area you know to to just sit there and paint so I, I i rarely attend like anything that's like in the evening because i felt like evenings are like time to rest and time to just you know do things um with the family so which is why i, I rarely do that um yeah yeah and you know some night like now i actually sometimes do stay like work from home and when you work from home you don't really want to go out you know you just want to like stay at home because you're already home so i don't just don't feel like going out and uh which is why i rarely attend those so there you go oh no really oh yeah it is is it like stuck at like gina right okay let me just kind of like can i refresh like let me just kind of quickly refresh that okay hold on for a minute i'm sorry greg i'm gonna like refresh okay is this better Oh no, it's gone. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's all gone now. Can you guys type something? I don't know. Uh, chat. Hello. Hello. Is it working? Oh no. What? Oh, there you go. Okay, it's, it's starting, I guess, like from Greg. I don't, yeah. But it's kind of weird now. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Blue <Blugga>, wooga, <laughs> woo goo. <laughs> Can you see me? No, I cannot. <laughs> Can you see? Yeah, there you go. Howdy. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah. So, stuff like this happen. Um. Yeah. But do let me know, okay, if it happens because, I I don't know. I feel like somehow, um, Streamlabs. It's not very. I feel it's not that stable sometimes okay so what i'll be doing here is instead of painting this on top okay my b is gonna be in gouache i think it's fine like if i have the bees be painted in gouache i'm just gonna use queen burn orange as it is right um yeah like freely here okay and then um, I will just rule it up with the shadow. So this is not a difficult piece, I must say. Like, I would say it's actually just 
um, the wrong color to begin with. Like I shouldn't have actually picked this one. Yeah, but it's okay. You know, we, we, we learn. Um, yeah. So it doesn't mean you have to pick a flower that is the same color. Um, yeah, like like it's actually okay if you wish to paint with it with a, a different color. I must say. Um, I don't know if I made made sense. I don't know. Maybe not. But anyway, yeah, there. So yeah. Uh, I remember I we used to do we had a few challenges where the colors were just so weird, but you know we could just like remember my um like moldy cakes. So yeah, those were the those were the ones where the colors was just horrific, and you couldn't get anything good from it. Yeah. So those were the weird ones and. It doesn't matter because in the end, I, I kind of enjoy painting those as well. So I'm going to make this kind of a, a more like wet on wet kind of technique. So which is as why I sometimes like I'm wondering why did I spend that time to draw every piece when I'm just kind of just painting it like, <laughs> like any, like in any way, <laughs> like just dropping paints. Like why did I spend time drawing it? Ah! Why? <laughs> hello, what's it? I hope you guys get. Oh, 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 oh! Hello, Kermit. Hi, hi. Good morning. Our oh, afternoon, or oh, evening. <laughs> so yes, yes, yes. I um, yeah, we are back. Uh, the chat's back. So yeah, feel free chatting. Um, we were just talking about. I don't remember what we were talking about. But anyway, we were talking about soft stuff. So yeah. yeah. Oh uh, yeah, we're talking about how I wasted my time like painting, uh, right, right, drawing the individual like seat, you know, um, and then like not being able to use it because it just it does not require, um, that like it's like I just it's it's a wet on wet anyway, so things are just gonna be kind of like you know going, I don't know, <laughs> I don't want to say. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't. I don't really need to spend so much time on the the details because, yeah. Wait, hold on. Let me look at this. I think it goes like like this way. I tell you sometimes. Now I feel like painting um. The um, negatively, it's a bit hard. Like this is me painting negatively, right now. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, good. I think Kermit is like based in Singapore, right? So it's right. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think so. So he's it's probably his evening as well. So it's really late. Like now it's near twelve. I feel like this is not working. I don't know. It's oh, I have to like think about this. Like okay, what I'll do is I think I'm I have to like lift up some of these colors. It feels like this is wrong. <gasps> Greg. I don't want to get anything done for this month. Oh, I'm loving this new gosh. <laughs> and some of these paints are so thick and pigmented dense that they reminded me of oil. Ooh. Do you do oil, Greg? I don't remember if you are an oil painter. I know Hippo is an oil painter. I like he paints like good oil. Um what's this thing about good oil? But yeah, he paints oil and like he Yeah. So do you learn? Like I I don't know. I think Nancy does like a lot of gouache as well. She's kind of a gouache user. Um, so we do have quite a lot of talented people here, you know, like they, they are not like a hundred percent like watercolor people at first. Um, but they kind of learn, learn from like, I, I guess this is also like a way to learn things. I, I feel like watercolor is, I, I don't know why I picked up watercolor. Like, okay, the reason why I pick up watercolor is because it's fast, you know, and um, I like the the play, you know, the, the kind of fun that we have with watercolor, where the, the, the pigment just, you, you can't really predict, you know, how the pigment would kind of like mix with each other. So you can, you really just, like, it's, it's just like, uh, what's that word, random, you know, I like it when it's kind of random. You, you get like special kind of color because you accidentally, mix this with that and stuff like that so <laughs> i don't know if that's a good reason for liking watercolor but that, that's why like that's how that's a reason why i love watercolor uh oh yay Kermit's from singapore yay hello fellow singaporean 
<laughs> and Grexus, I usually, I not generally, generally do oil in November or December. It's too cold to have my windows open and my room's too small, so to not have them open while oil painting right now. I see. Why? Why do you do oil when it's so cold? Like you should actually do oil when it is like like summer or something. Oh, is Caffeine also an oil painter? So many oil painters here. Like you guys should teach me. Like I haven't tried. I've not tried oil painting before. I always say I should try. Like I always like I always talk about this in a stream. I said like, oh yeah, I should learn. I should do this. But somehow. I just didn't like I just don't like fellow Singaporeans like we are given like some credits so they call this like skill future credits where we could like take classes for the discount so the government give us this money so that we could learn stuff like I have not even used mine and some of these value like like credits are like gonna they, they're gonna like expire soon so I am not sure if I am just going to do like um like an art related thing or I should do some you know work related thing so I'm, I'm still undecided which is why you know I'm I haven't used my credits ah, so um, Kermit have you used yours and I'm not sure if Rap Sophie is still watching Rap Sophie have you used yours um, I should think of a way to start using them because yeah it, it will go like they will it will expire really soon and then I would like <laughs> waste money I would waste the opportunity to use it for like I don't know life-changing costs <laughs> I I don't know yeah so so that's that's about the um, things that the we, we get to learn like the government sponsor us to study so yeah eh, yeah I don't know maybe I should take up like do uh, oil painting Ah, okay, so Greg says when the weather is nice, I want to be outside painting and carrying around oil is much less convenient than watercolors. Ah, I see. Actually, what would be a good time to paint oil? Would it be? I think summer would be a good time because then you could open up the windows and it would like rain less and the paints would dry faster. It'd be drier. Would it? Would that be a good time to paint oil? I feel like it would be a good time because you could like open up the windows, you could, you know, do stuff. I feel like I have messed up this part. Like this part looks really, really bad. Ah, so bad. So, so bad. Ah, <laughs> this part is so bad. Ew. Okay. <laughs> My, I'm sorry about this ugly, disgusting looking cornflower. Ah, I'm so sorry. Okay, and people says oil painting is easy. It's the cleanup that's difficult. Ugh. And Kathleen says she's only used watercolor. Oh, okay, but Kathleen has um looks like she has been painting for a while. <laughs> Nancy says, oh, it's too smelly. Yeah, it is too smelly. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. It's kind of dangerous. You know, watercolor you just flush it down the toilet bowl. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> Sounds kind of dangerous. Oh. Recipe says I used my some years back for intro to art course. I don't remember how much I paid. I left or expired. Oh, nice that you actually did art course. I should try it. I haven't. I haven't spent a single cent. You know, I think the government's gonna like take back all my money and laugh. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Rex says I especially love how the cheap, how the cheap surface are for oil. Could use cardboard throughout the year and then grass. Oh, and gesso them. Oh, nice matu. <laughs> And you like say only the one of five hundred top up will expire by the end of twenty twenty five. Okay, okay, I have time. Good. <laughs> I was actually thinking I should do watercolor painting or oil painting or maybe I should do like you know how, um, digital things like um AI digital stuff so, like getting very popular. So I'm actually thinking about doing those instead. So I'm I'm still like I'm decided. You know, for work, I might do AI stuff. Like, I might do, like, you know, um, Python or something. But it's... Yeah, I am still thinking about it. Ah, well, we'll see. We have time. So, yeah, I have time. I have time to think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Greg says, Oh, fall or early winter is best for me. Too hot in the summer to have the windows open. 
Oh, fall is probably a good time. Like fall is a good time where it is like um like dry and it's cooling. So it's probably one of the best time. Hey hey. <laughs> there. Okie doke. Uh huh. Oh, it's not disgusting looking. It is quite disgusting. It, I think it looks like it's like rotten or something. <laughs> it's a rotten ecclesia. <laughs> Oh, okay, stop with the negative self-thought. It's of no use. Ah, you're talking about me. Ah. <laughs> okay, Nancy says, uh, Tapa Thai made my lungs pretty bad. Now I understand that Tapa Thai isn't used as much as... Oh, okay, that's that's good. Hippo. Okay, hold on. Is this hippo the same as the other hippo? It's a different hippo? Hi, hippo. I, you're not that hippo, are you? <laughs> Hello, hippo. Hippo says, Have I tried the rosé tool? For are these cramp yet? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> oh, you're not the same hippo. Okay, we have two hippos in the room. In the room. No, I have not tried it. <laughs> I like how both hippo says no at the same time. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Sorry about that, hippos. <laughs> yeah, I have not used that. What's that about? What's the rosé tool? That sounds really interesting. And Kermit says he hasn't you haven't used a single cent of it. Oh yeah, there's so many causes. There's even like I think food safety. There's even like CPR. I'm thinking of doing CPR. I don't know. And Kermit says he's looking for a Python course as well. Whee! <laughs> maybe maybe we might meet each other in a Python course. <laughs> Gina says, What a color is so good for staying clean. When I try oil I get more on me than on the canvas. <laughs> oh no, that's horrible. So dangerous. Okay. <laughs> And Kathy, you all paint better than me. I know training or education. Ah, you, ooh, you are you are professionally a medic. Medic, what? That's so cool. Okay, you're not you're not art, but you paint you paint really well though, Kathy. I feel like you you do your best, like whenever you you paint, and and everything looks so like detailed, and and you're trying to be really neat with it. So, yeah, you are really good. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Hippo says, Hippo, <laughs> Hippo with the capital Hippo says, it's hard to explain, you have to Google it. Okay, I will Google it. Okay, it says, like, a uh, rosé tool. Okay, let me check. What's this thing about the rosé tool? Let me Google. Rosé tool. Ooh, from art, art cram, art. Artists, artists, cram. Okay. Ooh, what's this? So interesting. Hey, is it like a dye, like a sewing pen? Is it a pen for dra drawing? Okay. What's it for? Art painting, pen tip. Oh, is it for digital art? Is it? It looks. I am. I'm confused. <gasps> oh, okay. Gina says I thought this looked like a black eye, black eye Susan flower. <laughs> it's not. It's a. It's an ecclesia. <laughs> The color's wrong. So I was saying the color's really wrong because I picked the wrong colors. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Paolo says I'm always confused. Yeah, we're always confused. <laughs> I don't, uh, okay, I'm just gonna quickly show. I'm not even sure if I'm actually gonna Google the right thing. Maybe I should print, I should like write rose there. Like it's let me just kind of try. I try to copy what you have written. Because I have a feeling I didn't print like print I didn't write it properly. Uh oh, rose, 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 oh that's that rose thingy. Uh oh. Hippo, hippo, hippo. Capital hippo. What did capital hippo say? Uh mm, hmm, hmm. How do I get the like little E thingy? So what is it supposed to do? Like capital hippo? 
four. Okay, I'm just gonna put like we'll say two. Oh no, no, no. I I don't I. I don't know. I really don't know. <gasps> Rose toy, huh? Rose toy sounds weird. <laughs> Just sounds so weird. Oh, oh, oh! That's that's weird. Uh, okay. I have no idea what this is about. Okay. <laughs> mm, very very weird. Hippo, you are very, very strange. <laughs> Capital Hippo has a very strange... This is a not art-related, I think. I don't know. Hmm, <laughs> very interesting. Okie doke. Let's continue with painting. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know what to do with the B because... Oh, and, and unfortunately, I am not able to use any of the Viridian. I'm gonna use... Try to use a bit of Viridian. <laughs> uh, okay anyway i'm gonna try painting the viridian i'm putting in a viridian because we have not used it today oh yeah next week right um i did say it's, it's supposed to be like a anything goes week um and i am probably going to um i i think i've always said like i usually would either do like um uh, landscape or like animals and um, or like uh, cityscapes or stuff or buildings or things okay <laughs> okay I'll call you by Bosch <laughs> okay sure no problem Bosch Oh, you got censored. Did you? What do you say? <laughs> okay, anyway, I don't know what's going on here, okay? <laughs> yeah, Hippo, I really, I, I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hippo is a very interesting person. Okay, you might be in the wrong channel if it's what it is, yeah? <laughs> anyway, yeah, you, you might be better in another channel where they are talking about stuff like this oh should i actually paint the background okay i'm just trying to paint the background just to see how that goes um yeah so yeah i think it's just like in my bit of using um a bit of the uh viridian because i feel like i'm not like i don't think i've used the viridian at all so i'm gonna <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty awkward. Yes, it is. So, it, yeah, there you go. Okay. And I am going to finish. So this is just um, um, adding some colors so that I'm actually seemingly using um, a bit of Viridian. Yeah. Oh, it is? It's hard. Oh, yeah, actually, Viridian is quite hard to, to do that, um, to, to activate. That's true. But I like, the, um, somehow, the Viridian, that, the, the Viridian that I have is from Schminka, and it's actually not too bad. Like, I, I didn't have to t spend too long uh, activating it. I think one thing you could do is, if you have it in a, like a half pan, what you could do is actually, um, like, just like soak it in water <laughs> like add a lot of water to it and just let it kind of soak and after a while you know that the, you, you, you're gonna be able to get like enough of it to to be able to paint so that's that's what i've been doing and so far it's like kind of working so yeah that's good okay <laughs> i know it's a hippo convention Ah, Greg says, I got the Roman Smalls. Ah, because people said that reactivation is better. But if this is better, I can't imagine it worse. <gasps> okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's not too bad. Like, I, I've not tried, I've not tried the, um, what's that word? I've not tried the Roman Smalls one. So the one I have is from um, uh, Schmink, Schminka. Um, but Schminka is actually not known for making very easily re paint 
Um, in fact, it's one of like one of the worst <laughs> rewetto. It's not, definitely not re- um, It's not definitely quite bad at rewetting. Um, yeah. So I I, I think um, try it try it um, try to put water on it first to kind of re- to uh, kind of let the I guess like activate the paint, and then um, it should be fine after that. So I I'm just gonna like very very gently and loosely just paint the colors like just just to have a vivid bit of like um, green um, just very very faint colors because we don't want it to be too strong you know I, I don't want it to be that strong so that's what I'm doing uh, okay Nancy says I have a radiant but it can't seem to locate it so the substitute is hookers oh Nancy if you are looking for a green I would suggest you get use phalo green instead of um, hookers because hookers green is um, not exactly the same shade but I think hookers is fine because if you're talking about the hue angle it's actually the same hue angle okay ignore what I say because it's in the same hue angle yeah so ignore what I say I'm sorry Nancy you can use it it's in the same hue angle <laughs> okie doke oh the Daniel Smith one is literally a rock huh <laughs> yeah okay i don't think i've used it i i think the the worst one that i have is uh <laughs> yeah you're right potter's pink i have daniel smith or, or potter's pink it's it's the worst it's the it's really hardens like rock it's really like rock <laughs> so this is um yeah it's it's really really quite bad so it's one of the worst um uh paint um color and the colors are the problem problem with it like if it like dries really bad like if it dries very badly like dries if it gets too dry uh on on the paper like oh sorry on the half pen um you, you you're gonna not gonna get a lot of you know paint out it's gonna be really really difficult to paint so yeah which is why i think the rewettability is a very important uh, aspect of like paint like watercolor paint that a lot of people don't really um, think about which is why I sometimes like get colors from a particular maker because just because they are probably easier to react their paints are probably easier to rewet so one of those that I think are it's really good is a uh, brand that's really good is Hobin actually Hobin has very good except I think the raw sienna as uh, Ari has mentioned before like um hobin has really the the raw sienna is really really bad <laughs> like it really really um uh, dries like rock hard uh, it cracks as well so i hate it when it cracks you know the two things that i really hate as an artist like as a watercolor um like doing watercolor is firstly when my um firstly when it the the paint dries so hard in and it's difficult to be wet so that's like kind of like number one pet peeve like that I really hate you know about um, using watercolor that's when you know it's so hard to to be wet that's the worst and the second bet like that comes together with the rewetting um, is like if it dries really really very very um, hard and it cracks as well that that would be like the worst and sometimes it cracks so badly that the, the paint just like drops off like piece by piece from from the half pen yeah in fact i had like a few that happened i don't know my poor bee doesn't look like a bee ah. <laughs> oh maya blue huh also went also turned rock hard ah what ah. oh okay maya blue is the real thing Oh, Potter's... Yeah, like me! Hippo, do you also get Potter's Pink from BS? Oh my god, like, high five! I tell you, anyone who buys, like, Potter's Pink from Daniel Smith, like, regrets getting Potter's Pink from Daniel Smith. Like, after that, I got um, um, the Potter's Pink from uh, the... What's that brand? Um, Ramon Small's Potter's Pink. It's not too bad, you know? I quite like it um yeah but i think i heard like a lot of good things about the potter's pink from can i like use yellow <laughs> i need to use a yellow <laughs> because if i don't have the yellow this is not gonna work uh, uh, I, I, I. so 
So I, I do need, I really need a yellow for the poor guy. Like he is kind of um, a bee that, oh, oh, so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna push this in so that you guys can see it better. So he is not looking like a bee because he needs to be yellow. So I might use color pencil later on. Let me move this up a bit so that you guys can see uh, ooh, the whole thing. Oh, sorry, wrong, wrong thing. I'm gonna just quickly move this up. So you can see the whole thing okay yay okay so this is i don't know i'm so sorry like the color is all wrong it's supposed to be <laughs> like this color but now it's a corn flower i don't know what this is <laughs> it's just wrong the color's just wrong but i like the shadow though i think it's really nice <laughs> Yeah, I might. So I would like use a color pencil on it, like maybe in uh, later on, like when I have light. So I think I'll stop like here because uh, I think I'm th still thinking if I want to paint this part. What do you guys think? Do you think I should paint this part? I'm thinking of just painting like here. Like I will make this like a lot darker here as well, but I will not paint here. And, and I would like use a maybe a color pencil to make the the um the the, the what do you call it the uh, B pop up a little bit better because now he's like <laughs> I don't know you'd be like wondering what is this thing that's like there it looks like a B but I'm not sure if it's B <laughs> so we're talking about the flowers right ah uh, aha uh -huh. okie doke ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Greg says my renaissance um, cadmium bottle is like the same hue as the Daniel Smith Potter's pink just as much just much more in, more intense and less granulating so when I'm use up the pen I just gonna combine them into pink ah okay oh, Rosiana just cracked just dry cracked <laughs> okay I see yeah I, I like I, I have Roman Smalls Potter's Pink. I don't have Winston Newton, but I think I should I should get the Winston Newton one. But we work just like the others. Ah, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. My, my Mary my Mary Blue's uh, Potter's Pink's we work easily too. See, I think my Mary Blue's Potter's Pink is also one of the recommended ones. So I, I love Potter's Pink. So I, I think that might be the color where I would actually buy from every brand, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Pigment conversation is the most valuable part of the, <laughs> this community for me. Yeah, I think we're talking about different pigments and how they all use together. So it's really fun, you know, um, especially when we all like love pigments and we all buy so many. You know, maybe we could like, I don't know, <laughs> have more like pigment of the day. Like we could talk about maybe next week we could talk about Viridian. I don't know, we could talk about like Queen Burn Orange. It's really nice. You know, I feel like I have I don't know, like for me, I feel like I don't have so as many yellows. I feel like I'm kind of neglecting the yellows. You know, like, um, I think he, uh, uh, Bosch um, actually shared like the top 40 pigments um, from uh, Bruce, um, who's like the author of handprints.com. And, and I have like, I think I have, I have a lot of, I have two yellow paints that I don't have. There are two yellow paints I don't have. And I think, I don't know, I feel like I need to like be better. I need to know more about the yellow paints. Yeah. And Greg, okay. Everybody loves the pink. <laughs> oh no, Greg says, I'll be mad if you cheat. I'll be so mad. Steve will escape from my ears like it. Oh no, Paolo says, I have no idea what the colors are today, sadly. Oh, I'm so sorry, Paolo. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Paolo, so the colors are, we call this palette Egyptian, Egyptian, <laughs> Egyptian violet, and they are, the colors are uh, PV15, right? So I'm using Smalt. As you guys know, like thanks for the comments on the video, like yesterday's video. So I post, I because I was like doing the swatch, I was like, hey, why not I made a video, you know? So I made a video, I uploaded it like in three days, like I did it in two days. So it's super fast, and I, I didn't, I didn't as ex, I didn't expect that people would like it that much. So yeah, I will be doing more of those. Um. So anyway, this is Malt, and then there, these are the other PV15s. 
I quite like the Shinhan one. So the Shinhan one is kind of granulating. It's kind of like more intense, right? But if you're looking for something really close to this, you could actually get like, uh, I think Da Vinci. No, no, no. Uh, what's that brand? Uh, Blocks Aquarelle. But it's supposed to be um, a German brand. Like probably Europeans would have it, you know? Um, and then like the next color is Viridian. And then Queen Bon Orange, like we have seen these two colors many times, right? I love Queen Bon Orange, my favorite colors. It is hard. Um, I think it's okay. Like I like the colors together. So this is how it looks. I don't know. I feel like I haven't been mixing that much. Um, but I will try to add more colors here. Like probably make this part like much darker. Like maybe here, I'll make it so much darker. And here I'm just gonna leave it like white like i'm gonna leave it unpainted i'm gonna like make this little guy like yellow it's kind of cheating <laughs> with color pencils okay <laughs> yeah it is uh oh okay gina says i want to see how to paint the b okay right uh b right i will go and look for a yellow hmm or should i use color pencils i will use intense okay i'm sorry gina um, I'm feeling lazy today, so I'm gonna use intense. Okay, coming. So this is my like huge set of intense star with intense. Okay, I'm gonna use it. Okay, then okay. Harry says I, uh, I'm so happy I got my Marie Potter, my Marie Blues Potter's Pink for around eight USD. That's quite expensive, but. Yeah, but it's a good buy because I think Potter's Pink is one of the best colors. Yeah, and Nancy says Potter's Pink's Eason, like pink, is a shade of grayish pink. And I always think of pink as in a cotton pink, but it's a nice color. I, I think it's one of the best colors to use when you have like, like you have a blank wall. You don't know what to do with it. You want some texture. Potter's Pink is there. Like you just drop in the Potter's Pink. Everything looks, whoa, looks good. Okay, so I have these colors over here. Um, for the B, I would think, uh, sun yellow, cadmium yellow, what's this one, St C Sicilian yellow, golden yellow, I would think this is like the best yellow for it, sun yellow is probably the best, I don't know, it feels, it looks like a B's yellow to me, so this is, um, the sun yellow, right, yeah, Okay, <laughs> yay, intense. Please use the same day inks. <laughs> okay, no, I don't think they are inks. They're probably not inks. Okay, <laughs> like who said that they were inks? I don't remember. Did anyone do that? Did anyone say that? <laughs> Did I? Did I? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I, I let me let me let me do this. Okay. I, I am hoping, okay, let me just kind of quickly take a look. Okay, I'm hoping that it would, like, be good. Like, I, I, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, like, have a little disclaimer. I'm just gonna say, like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, the whole B, the whole painting is according, like, I, I use this palette except the B, okay? <laughs> except the B. I have to paint the, like, there's no yellow, right? There's nothing I can do. It's the only way <laughs> I could make it look. Uh, oh really? Every review in YouTube about Intense says they are ink base. Hey, okay. How do they know this ink base? Because it's called Intense, huh? How how did they reach that like like that that like view? Like how did that happen? I do not understand how that would happen. Is it because of the name? But that's kind of shallow, you know, if, if, if it's because of the name that they, they, they think it's made of ink, intense ink. Yeah, yeah I, have, I have these like intense pencils, but I haven't been really using them. I'm not sure if I should actually paint over this. Like they might just like uh, this off. Okay, I'll try. Okay, let me try to get like more details in without oh without destroying like without like dissolving the color i think the difficulties is actually 
getting the details well this is actually not dark enough i will make it into a like a like a dark gray color so it's this is with print burn um and um the burn orange and and the viridian okay so i'm just gonna have the te the, the details in there like the strong colors Yeah, okay, I don't know. <laughs> it just looks kind of weird right now. Ah, uh, well, like fastness is good. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Paulo says, and the mustard color pencil is made of mustard. Oh my god, <laughs> it's funny. That sounds funny. Their light fastness is good. Okay, that's good. Where are they? What are they then? If they're not watercolor pencils, pigments, but a different formulation. Ah, yeah, I wonder, I wonder what they are. Like, can I ask a question? Um, like, how about normal color pencils? Like the wax color pencils? What are they made from? Are they made from pigments or dyes? Pigments? Are they pigments? I, I think there's something, I, I feel like colors are either, I mean, I wouldn't say I feel, but colors are either dyes or pigments, right? Um, inks, fountain pen inks and pick are dyes because they need to pass through like the tiny holes, right? So they have to ensure that they don't clog the holes. So it's all dyes. But I think it's perfectly fine. They're all pigments though. Like if, if, like if, um, color pencils are pigments, like why would they be dyes? I don't know. Maybe like. Um, markers, markers may be dyes. Like I don't think markers would be pigment. Like copic would be dyes. Yeah. Hmm. Oh okay. Yeah, I think so. Like I think if it's, unless you're like watercolor companies, I feel like they would not tell you what they put in there. It's kind of like secret like uh, formulation so i i don't know like how would we know like do we have to like burn it in the furnace or something or like i don't know put it in the spectrometer how do you know how could you test for pigment other than like the light fast test which is like hmm, <laughs> kind of like semi-quantitative you know so what would be like a good way to say or tell like that we can tell that it is a pigment I can't think of a way, like, scientifically, like, I'm um, chemistry professor, I need your help. <laughs> so, Paolo, please help us. How do you tell if it's a uh, watercolor, I mean, if it's a uh, pigment or if it's a dye? Like, for me, I would actually just kind of look at the, like, I mean, non-scientifically, uh, it would be like the light fast. You know, dyes are normally not light fast. Uh, pigments are more like fast, but not all pigments are like fast. So it, you know, it's not exactly. Mm, I would say the best way to tell. Ah, okay, okay. I see something special here. So okay, Paolo says I can only vouch for Darwin and Karen. Uh, Karen, Dan, Dutch, Dutch, being made with pigments. Fable castles are made of Indian inks. Oh, okay. And Brosh says, um, pencil binders are a mix of oil and wax. Small wax makes it softer. I see. Okay. That goes for the wax, the um, crayons um, as well. You know, I feel like I should go into pigment science or something. You know, how do you apply colors? Like the different ways you apply colors. I feel like it would be a fun. Like you don't always, we don't only look at watercolors kind of thing. Uh, ah, okay, so Karen Dutch uh, li list the pigments on their luminance and museum aquarelle before Darwin even had like fast pencils. Ooh, okay. In fact, if you want to have the ASTM 6901 stamp on your pencil, you have to disclose the pigments. Ah, what's the ASTM 6901 standard about? <laughs> Here comes Gina. I paint on my pink satin fabric with Intense XL block. Ooh, really? Oh yeah, yeah, I heard that they are supposed to be you can paint use paint on like um what do you call it? Watercolor you can paint on 
uh, cloths, like fabrics with them. Yeah, very interesting. I think so. You can use it in a, they have many applications. So AASTM, I'm interested in that standard. Okay, ASTM, what? 66901. Okay, what's that about? Oh, what standard specification for artist color pencils? Oh my god, <laughs> what? Really, there's such a thing? Is there like one for watercolor? Oh, it says here that it's a standard established quality requirements for composition, performance, and labeling of artist colored pencils. The specification also covers vehicle sedatives, requires uh, the companies to include blah, blah, blah. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, hello, Tina Young. Thank you for subscribing. Hi, if you're watching, thank you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yay, yay, yay. Thanks, Gina. Thanks for the. Yeah, I don't know. My B is is here, so it's he's um he's a bit of out of shape, but yeah, I will shape him up tomorrow when I have the sun. I'll make him look like a bee. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Tina. Yeah, okay. Uh, Canadians refer to color pencils or pencil crayons. They're the same. Oh, they're similar. Okay. Wow, that's very cool. Is that like an ASTM for watercolor? Oh, Luminance Pencil were the first to get the stamp. Oh, there are a lot of standards for watercolor. Really? <gasps> Let me Google. I love standards. Okay, do you know why I'm into standards? Because I'm actually a GMP inspector. <laughs> so I'm, I'm like reading standards all the time. So, okay, watercolor. Watercolor standards. Hey, interesting. Watercolor standards. Ooh, there is! Okay, it's D5067, Standard Specification for Artist Watercolor Paints. <gasps> oh, that's all? Oh, is that all? Hey. Okay, okay, I know, I know, you got to pay. What? So expensive? 75? That's madness. Like, I could, you could just download the PICS, like, GMP guide for free, you know what I mean, but... <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> it's not like I would pay for it, because... I don't even have a watercolor brand, but if I have my own watercolor brand, yeah, maybe, maybe I will go like download, spend 75 USD and download it. Yeah, I think that explains it, right? But which I, I believe probably, I don't know, like, but that's very interesting. Like, I should go and read up the different watercolor companies and see if they all have these, like, um, standards. I think it would be kind of interesting to see. I'm sure like companies like Winston Newton would have it. Uh, maybe Daniel Smith too, you know, the big ones. Oh, oh, Paulo says, I wish I had access to the standards. Oh, I guess if you are like a maker, you would actually buy it. I would like try to get it too. I think it would be kind of interesting. <laughs> and Gina says, Oh, they are watercolors that's supposed to be permanent when wet. Ah, I see. Okay, that's true. Oh, you're saying the um, XL, the uh, block, yeah, yeah, the intense block XL. Is that is that what you meant? Oh, you wish you had access to the standards. Okay, some some university buy the access, but sadly not. You know what, Paolo, I think you should like do a project on like pigments or something, like on watercolor pigments, and use that as an excuse. Take that like grant and use that and to get access. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I don't know. I did I laugh in a weird way? Oh, Greg, uh, who's in charge of these standards? Are they like an international body? I think it's like ISO, I don't know. ASTM is like, um, what does ASTM stand for? Let me Google it. American Standards of Technical and Measurement or something? Is that ASTM? Uh, uh, hey. What does ASTM stand for? Yeah, you know, it's Ameri America's American Society for Testing and Materials. Okay. Yeah, I think they're like kind of a kind of association. Yeah, American, right? Yeah, so they're kind of association where they do like like standards, like USP, you know, USP, um, United States Pharmacopoeia. So that's what I know, right? Um, they're just like a bunch of, I don't know, like industry, like government people coming together and they're just kind of developing the standard because you need that to kind of do testings and you, it has to be kind of standardized so that you get like equal 
you can interpret the testing in the same way kind of stuff. <laughs> Greg. <laughs> Where are God is the main character. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like USP. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have like the BP, British Pharmacopoeia. And I, there's so many. Like ISO is probably different. ISO is probably international. ISO standard, but I'm not sure. Yeah, ISO seems to be standard. So it's called the International Organization for Standardization. So it's different. And but ISO kind of big, you know, like ISO 9001, uh, ISO ISO 1 or something, some for the lab or something. So I know these from my work, but yeah. So that's about the standards. I don't know why we got into standards, but I'm sorry, my flower here does not look anything like the flower over there. My bee looks kind of too big. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, but I had fun like painting it. I think it's, yeah, it's it's fun painting stuff. And uh, flowers are, are nice. It's just that I feel like my technique or like my, my, I feel this is a bit messy. Like from here, it looks fine. Like from a, from afar, it looks okay. But if I go really close, I think it looks a bit messy. Ah, not my best. Not my best. We'll see what I can do tomorrow to make it better. Okay. But anyway, thank you all for watching me. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm not sure if I can show you guys the credit. Somehow, the credit does not show. I don't know why it can't show you guys the credit. Do I have to pay? Like play it or something? Yeah, I don't know. Done. Okay, it's not showing, so I don't know why it's not showing. I'm supposed to show some credit, <laughs> but it's not work. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, everyone. I hope you guys like have a great day today, great way for the whole week, and I hope to see more of your artworks. Okay, I do note like next week we are going to do uh, another different theme. So this week is floral theme, which is why they are flower. Next week I will do um, uh, what's that word? I'll do an animal. So I will be doing. My sister's late rabbit. So yeah, late rabbit means the poor little girl has passed away. The queen bunny has passed away. Um, and I thought like I should do like a little trivial for her, like a little like thing for her. So I think it's the best way. Like, oh my God, ah, Gina. <laughs> oh my God, did Gina just, thank you so much, Gina. Oh gosh, thank you. Thanks for that. How come? Why is it that my widget is not working? So my widget is supposed to like jump up. <laughs> so thank you, Gina, so much for this. I don't know why like my the chat is... Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay, something's wrong with the chat. Okay, it's just not showing. Thank you, Gina. Everyone say thanks to Gina. Gina's the best. <laughs> Gina's always so, so nice and you know, so supportive. Thank you so much for that. For, thank you so much. I love you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Um, yeah, I, I really, really thankful for, for all the support they have given. Um, it helps me maintain the, the stream. So yeah, I mean, so far it's good that this is free, but you know, I, yeah, there are other things that I pay for. So it does, this will go into it. And of course it will help me buy paints <laughs> for reviews and then, uh, yeah, and maybe do post it, postage and stuff. Thank you everyone. Thank you, Gina, for that donation. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, next week I'll be painting my sister's bunny. Um, if you wish to paint her the bunny too, I welcome you guys to join me, uh, paint a portrait for the bunny. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thanks Gina. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Thanks Gina. Thanks Nancy. Thanks Greg. Um, uh, and oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's so slow. <laughs> so Gina's, um, you see that it's coming up. <laughs> Oh, you don't know? I have a sister. I have a sister. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Paolo. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, uh, Brosh. Brosh. Uh, and uh, Rep Sophie. And uh, who else? So many people. Uh, looking up. I think Ari as well. Um, and yeah, so many of you guys. Like, I, I can't. Like, V said hi just now a while ago. Um, and I think uh, Elijah. And. Uh, uh, Kermit, committee. <laughs> thank you so much, everybody. Uh, and Greg as well, Gregory as well. Thank you. Bye bye, everybody. See you guys next week. See ya. Good night. Bye bye. Ah. Oh, yeah, and DRGS, bro. Yes, he was. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs>